So let's just try a different brush because I don't really see the product on my face. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Alexis. In today's vlog, first we're going to, I mean today's Monday, let me start off there and say today's Monday, January 4th and um, the pretty much the first real day of the year uh, for me because this is when I'm going to start my new design. This is when I'm starting everything, okay? Um, today I am kind of working right now, of course always working but i need to put on some makeup because i need to shoot some footage that i need to up by 12 p.m so literally i'm working on just a couple hours i gotta get my face done my hair done and then take the pictures and edit the pictures and get the pictures up yeah so we got a lot to do okay um so anyway i want to first start off by doing makeup with you guys and also trying out the new fenty beauty foundation the powder foundation it just recently came out and actually i'm very excited because i feel like honestly i don't even want to lie and say i know what to expect from a powder foundation because it's literally been ages since i've tried just a powder on my face without anything else so definitely excited but you know i feel like even if i don't like this as just alone i could always go in and use this with the liquid maybe a lighter liquid and it would just go perfectly but we'll just see what the powder is on my face it's supposed to have a soft matte which is good because it's not which i take from it that it's not super duper overpowering in your face and it makes you look cakey so we're just gonna see what this is about i got the shade 450 that is just my shade and all of her colors um i don't know if i told you guys before like i'm just that shade i love that when you can go to a brand and pretty much everything like you're the same color every single time you know so <sighs> anyways let me stop rambling and start because i need to go i am going to start off first by using my milk makeup uh this is the primer that i have been using lately and i actually really like this primer so i'm just going to work this all over my face kind of like pressing into my skin it's good that i'm using a primer like this i think because it's going to help the powder stick but like not stick in a way like that it like patches well i don't hope so but like the thought is that it sticks and like it actually lasts all day because if you think about it powder it gets on your face it's probably you know your first kind of like brush against your face is probably going to go off so i think about like having something like this on it's gonna really help it stay all day, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and knock out my brows because I wanna get those done before I get into cracking with the foundation. So I finished my brows um, and now we're going to jump into the actual foundation. Uh, just for a heads up, by the way, I'll list everything that I use today down below for you guys. So that if you guys want to purchase it, then you can. Also, if you need to know my shade again, because you forgot. All right, so step two. Now we're going to get into the foundation and we're just going to go ahead and quickly snap this on. I feel like I'm going so slow. Brows takes forever and so... You know what? Over it, over it, over it, over it. So I love, so just to shut off, I love the packaging. Packaging is very hard and I like that because a lot of times these compact powders break so easily. I feel like these are thicker than even the ones she's had with her other compacts that like her highlighters and things like that because those have broken on me and her contour powders have broken on me. But this feels like it's very sturdy and that it's gonna last even if I drop it a couple times, you know? So here you get the here's my shade just kind of so you can see it i'm a very neutral tone person so anything that i put on my face it's gonna look best being neutral 
So she does have this little thing in here. I'm gonna go ahead and use it since it's here. It's like a little, um, I forgot what these sponges are called, but it's a sponge. And so I'm just going to kind of pat my, um, what is it called? My sponge into the pat, the compact. And I'm just going to kind of start doing this around the face, just patting it into my face. Cause I would assume that this is how you do it. Mm. I can already tell you now, I don't like the way that that sponge is giving off. I feel like those type of sponges suck a lot of the product up in it instead of applying it to your face. And I wanna get this product on my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a different type of brush um, for this. Uh, um, so let's start off doing this. I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna put it on my face and then I might go back and like um, kind of pat it down because I do feel like if you don't pat it down then it might just be kind of sitting on top of my skin so I'm just going to swirl my brush into this sorry brush is kind of old okay so that's probably not the right brush I do think <laughs> I'm learning here okay because I do think it does matter about the brush you use so I'm going to try a different brush because this is a synthetic fiber brush. This, I believe it's still synthetic, but the hairs are a little bit different. So let's just try a different brush because I don't really see the product on my face. I know I'm in the camera. I'm starting to blur a little bit, but uh, it's very light. So this is definitely for those of you that like want just like a light um Sorry if I'm creating noise with this palette because it does create noise. If someone wants a light um, powder or a light dust on their face, that's what we used to call it. When I first started doing makeup, we used to call it a dust. Like, um, Anyway, yeah, so this is if someone wants a light um, application on their face. I don't like I barely see it on my skin like it makes you look so super duper natural which I do love that because sometimes you don't want liquid. Liquid just sometimes feels so heavy on the skin. With this it's super duper light like if I look at my camera like I can see it starting to apply so I'm like okay I'm doing something here. I do think it matters about the brush so I'm using this Real Techniques Instapop face brush to do this and um but at first I was using this Morphe M320 brush and because of the fibers on it I didn't feel I feel like I didn't feel like it was doing anything for my skin but this for sure I do feel like it is I do think I'm like just going over stuff just to make sure I have it on my skin but I can stop now because I feel like it's done you know lips are super chaps but you could definitely tell that there's foundation on my face now um super light uh, now I'm just gonna go in and apply some concealer to start to layer it just a little bit kind of start to brighten up under my eyes because I do feel like even though I do have a nice application that under my eyes um, need to be brightened uh, gonna blend this out with my morphe m44 brush so I love this brush because for me, I love for my concealer to be there, okay? This is, I am trying to cover these dark circles. I don't necessarily, like I have bags, but they're not, you can't see them that much. But one thing you do see with me is my dark circles. And so what I wanna do is I wanna look awake. And I feel like when I don't hit those things up, I look very sleepy. And so this is just brightened up I love how dense this brush is if you can see it's very short haired brush and it's just super good I don't even know if this is for concealer but of course you can use a brush for anything that you want it to be for as you can see I'm creating a very soft look here I think right after this instead of oh you know what no I'm gonna go in with my with my lighter powder because I was gonna just go in and go with that powder back all over the face but I think I am going to use the uh, use my lighter powder to make sure that my under eyes are highlighted. Oh, I love it! I love it. So even though that that powder is very light, I am getting like I have my little brightness up under the eyes now, and so now I feel like it's okay for me to go in and apply some of my. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills 
um, powder. And I'm just gonna take this Laura Mercier brush to do this. I think this is a blush brush, but I love how it's shaped because it goes right under the eyes and it gets all in those crevices. So I feel like this method with using that powder is just kind of showing you that you really don't need a very full coverage foundation. Like you could go in with something and uh, with something lighter and like literally uh, as a foundation, which I know I've heard, this is what I've heard, a lot of professional makeup artists, they do that. They don't go heavy on the foundation. They go more, they go heavy more on like other products, but the key to like that flawless face with them is that they use really little to no foundation. So I, I love how this is kind of creating that look for me. Like my makeup doesn't look cakey at all. It's definitely like blended out. Like it looks like skin, you know? So I'm loving the look that, and the outcome that we're getting over here. I was gonna go in and cream contour, but we're just not feeling like that. Today. So I'm just gonna go in with some powder contour and I'm gonna use, literally just had it in my hand. Uh, this uh, Charlotte Tilbury brush that I love so much and I'm just going to warm up my face. I do have a Fenty. Let me use the Fenty one since I'm kind of doing Fenty today. I love that one because it's really brown, this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. But I also do love the Mocha Mommy by Fenty Beauty that I also, sometimes I just blend these in together. Like I'll just use both of them. I'll put my brush in both of them and then apply them all over my face. My lips are looking so white. <laughs> they are so jabbed. This is definitely when I have to start going back to work. This is definitely going to be my look because I love how light it feels on the skin. And as you can see, I'm warming up my face very easily. I'm now going to take some of my Laura Mercier powder and just going under my cheekbone, going like by my cheekbone and between my contour and face, just so I can kind of create like more structure especially because I am not using a um, cream contour so you still want to kind of give structure to the face then I'm gonna go in with my brush that I used in the beginning and I'm gonna go in with this Sephora micro smooth this is just gonna help blend everything together it's a very light powder so this is just gonna make sure everything like I have literally a flawless face when I you know, I like I need to go in and contour the nose a little bit to give my face even more structure, even though this is not like a heavy look. I still want this chic. Anastasia powder and just kind of go down the sides of this nose. Then I'm going to go back in with that micro smooth to make sure it's blended and doesn't look hard. A naturally contoured nose. We love it. Look how ashy them look. Okay. Hmm, we're coming down to the end. All right. Let's add a little bit of cheek. I love the rose latte. I literally will forever use it on my cheeks by Fenty Beauty. It just gives me a little bit of color to my skin. Literally, just a little bit of color. Go ahead and mist my face down before I apply my lashes. All right, so I'm gonna apply some lashes now. 
I'm officially done with wearing eyelash extensions up until, um, just until I go somewhere. I just feel like it's really no need uh -huh, to wear them, you know, especially when I'm around the house. I feel like I may, maybe when we stop working from home so much, maybe I'll get them because it'll just help me out in the morning. Um, but as of now, it's like a no for me. It's a no. Because I have more than enough time to apply a quick lash to my face. And, you know, we are trying to save for a wetting, okay? Oh, by the way, I'm using the MAC Chestnut Lip and then the Anastasia Lip Gloss called Nude, Node, N-O-O-D. This is like my lip combo. Like, it's pretty much I can toss all my other lip products. Oh, my lips are so dry. Oh, because this is the lip combo for me. I'm also going to top it off with peachy with three eyes. Right, hey guys, so I have finished. This is pretty much the final look. I'm super duper in love with this new foundation powder. I feel like it took me less time to do my makeup because I had less blending in to do. So I'm definitely a fan favorite of this foundation powder and I'm definitely gonna keep using it, especially for days like this. I mean, honestly, like I said, like most professionals I've heard nowadays are using the most smallest amount of makeup. Now it is liquid foundation typically, but they're using the smallest amount of foundation, which tells me that you really don't need that much foundation and you really don't need to be that heavy to get a flawless look, which I feel like I've created today and I'm very happy with how it came out. So yeah, hope you guys like that portion of the video. Now let me get into taking these pictures because I have literally less than an hour to take pictures and get them. 